Hi guys, I'm posting an update to my um, YouTube channel on my garden and I'm just sitting here today kind of reflecting on how things are going and I wanted to share it with you. Um, kind of laugh about it to tell you the truth. Um, I think I mentioned in my, in, uh, my first reflection that I remember my grandma putting us to work um, we had an opportunity to go out to the fields. Notice I said an opportunity, guys. We had an opportunity to go out, go out to the field to help out. And then we had an opportunity to learn how to shell the peas. We had an opportunity to learn how to cook. We had an opportunity to learn how to care for things in and outside the house. And I'm calling them opportunities. What I realize now is that it seems that um, what was an opportunity or a learning lesson seems to be interpreted these days as a complaint or somebody, sorry about my rag, but I don't like to be outside in the dirt without, without my hair being covered. Um, it's, it's taken as being a chore that's not fun, um, you know, punishment. And it's not, you know, it's not meant to be that. It's to teach you how to be self-sufficient um, to be able to kind of, you know, learn how to live, to learn how to take care of yourself. So I have my great nieces with me and they come up and stay and each year I try to teach them something. And um, trust me, they learn, they want to do, and it's all about exposing them to different things. So, you know, yesterday we were out in the garden and my patio garden and you know it was hot <laughs> I will tell you I keep saying it's hot as heck in Florida um, and coming from Chicago this is just so different but I'm committed to being outside at my house enjoying the sunshine and just looking at God's awesome wonders um, so I've tried to make an effort to come out of the house and just kind of sit and reflect uh, my husband is a different story if I sit out, he'll my chair that I left out, he'll go put my chair up. Um, he'll fold the tent down. Um, he's from Philly. Um, but that's just what he does. So um, that's just what he does. He's used to um, being in the inside. So um, he does come out on the porch and chill every now and then, which is a good thing. So... Um, so what I was thinking about today is that my garden, um, like I said, I, I, don't, I didn't want to be in the dirt, so I came up with this vertical garden, and I didn't think that um, the outside animals, outside of a rabbit or whatever, I didn't think that um, anything would bother my garden. I didn't think that anything would come up on a patio because this is a house. And I didn't think that um, an animal or any other creature would do that. Okay, so I was wrong. So my challenge now with my garden is that um, the deer, we kind of have conceded, is deer. They come out, they roam around free. That's what makes this, you know, one of the more beautiful places. However, they will eat your veggies. They will eat all, eat, eat the fruit off the trees. This is a challenge I've heard from my neighbor yesterday that she has like a couple of fruit trees and they got a cage up around it. And the deer just come and eat. It is disappointing. It is heartbreaking. So what I'm reflecting on today is how, how you know, I wanted this opportunity to grow. I wanted this opportunity to share with my, my great nieces um, I wanted to do that, but no buts. I wasn't prepared to have something eat my garden. I, that concept just just blows me away. And then I, I realized that, you know, what I saw was my grandmother and my grandfather outside. Um, they call work in the field. Okay, I did not know what work in the field meant, meant but now I do. They had to protect the food that we were going to eat. They had to, to um, nurture and feed, feed, fertilize, fertilize, that's the word. They had to nurture and fertilize the food that we were going to eat. They had to pick it, grow it, figure out how to store it 
um, how to make how to make a meal for us. And that in itself, work in the field, I understand what it means now. Um, yesterday, I must have spent four or five hours outside just trying to um, protect my food, to protect my garden, to replant and regrow the things that I want to eat. So, um, again, I'm just what I took for granted as a child, I now understand and appreciate so much more. Uh, any gift that we get from anybody, we need to hug them and tell them thanks. Um, my mom and my grandma are not here, but they taught me the lessons uh, of being thankful, um, to appreciate the things that I have, to love the people who give them to me. And I, I'm just, I'm thankful. So um, I'm, I'm encouraging everybody if, you know, if you have an opportunity to tell somebody that you love them, if you see something that's growing, appreciate it. Uh, if you have a desire or inc uh, inkling to do something, do it. Um, if you fe met with an opportunity or so uh, something kind of kick, you know, takes you off track, mess messes with your plan, work around it, um, and and be blessed. I will figure out a way to keep the deer off my patio, and I will share that with you. I'm going to, I think I'm going to build a fence, but again, I'm, I'm encouraging everybody, if you want to do something, do it. Don't let anything derail you or take you off your path. Enjoy living life. Enjoy the people who are there for you, and as always, I got to end it with my, you know, my favorite guy, Don Cornelius. Peace love and soul. Until next time.